Hello again. I have to show you this. This is one of the panels I showed you a few months ago. You know, this one got lost, or destroyed. I don't know what's happening with this one. It's a solar fan SZ18036. Doesn't matter. Okay, so what's happening with this guy? No connection over here. Let me show you something for the beginning. You have to see this. So inside here, we had, or in fact, I have four diodes like this. And uh, you know, usually these bypass diodes are interconnecting cell rows. And I said, okay, this is very plausible. It's three diodes, four, no, three, one, two, three. Okay, three diodes. So we have some two extra cells, uh, connections in between the stuffs. No way, look here, no connection. So <laughs> it's such a fake, you know. Evidently, these three diodes, they've been in series, like a general bypass of the panel. Finally, I could uh, take that junction box with my um, hot air and there we are. No extra connection, nothing. So finally, this panel just have a plus and a minus and evidently I got nothing over there. There is no sign of life even after I took this guys out open it to understand what's happening here i have a connection between this one here going up there but nothing here so my next step is to open this connection here maybe to get into this side of the of the panel and to understand what's happening over there. It's so amazing. But anyway, fake bypass diodes. Okay, the diodes are okay. But anyway, fake connection for bypassing. It's it's nothing in between. It's just a simple plus or minus. That's it. That's it. Amazing. Thank you so much, Solar Fam. You know, I, I have to let the people understand that. And uh, let's see what's happening. Okay, guys, so let's see what we can do over here. Let me get rid of this uh, sticky siliconic glue or something. Luckily, I had a good idea using the, the hot air station. It was almost impossible any other way to take this out. There we go. Let me try to uncover this trace here. Of course, I have to get rid of this plastic. Fantastic. All right. Too much. I don't want to lose the, the copper. Okay. So, uh, finally, what I'm trying to say is that all these cells here are pure in series. It's nothing sophisticated here. I thought, okay new panels, new generation, new technology. Oh no, it's worse than the world. Huh? So what I'm trying to say is that if a cell is gone, you know, like uh, blown up or something, or a connection between cells, then everything gets out. Nothing to do. It's gone. Sayonara. Let's see what we got here. I'm not sure, but theoretically, this copper thing here should have a connection to, to the rest of the cells. I don't see other way. My meter in continuity mode. So we got no continuity here. I don't believe that. I don't know. Maybe it's just a simple contact in between this copper, piece of copper there and the other one there. I really, really don't understand. What's happening here? Okay. And another one here. I just want to test the continuity. 
nothing. What about this one? So this one, it's it's okay here, but nothing here. Okay, what about having a connection from this guy? Okay, let me check now. Good. Yeah, very clear. What about this one here? I have to do the same thing the other way around. Okay. Let me check if I got anything here. Of course, this is just experimental, I may say. We'll see about uh, if the production or the capacity is still the same afterwards to there. Yes. What about... And look here, people. One kilo ohm. This is almost perfect. Is this panel fixed? What do you think? Hmm? Is this panel fixed? Shall we have a test in the sunshine? Huh? Let's have it. So I'm trying to catch the last solar rays for today. Uh, let's measure the voltage first. <laughs> there we are, my good people. 28.83 volts. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Okay, there we are. 28 volts yeah 28 now let's see how we can move the hams uh oh no come on i need a piece of wire okay so here i am a piece of wire i will uh i'll just plug plus and minus look here <laughs> You have to see this. You have to see this. I'm shooting something. Look there, people. Can you hear that? What do you think about this? The panel is back to life. The panel is back to life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me have this on clamp meter. Amp DC. And there we go. 3.08 amps. Oh, but I'm in the shadow. Okay. 4.62.4.5. Okay, guys. I think I fixed the panel and I'm pretty sure the problem was with one of the connection here with the copper band. The connection here was loose, maybe oxidized or something. Um, it, it's nothing soldiery there. Probably it's a laminate, you know, a piece of copper with this uh, zinc band and uh, and that's it. It's working. Yeah. And this will go back in production very soon. I have to cover all these parts here with some silicone, anti-water and stuff like that. And we got a fixed panel. Don't forget, please like, please subscribe. And the most important thing, have fun. Bye-bye.